Hello there and welcome back to my video. In this video I will speak about unit test in uh, Python and thank you for watching the previous unit test video. In this uh, unit test video I will uh, go through about different cases and when we end up over a couple of videos uh, based on my, uh, my project here then you will be able to understand a little more about unit test and not only the basic and how you can be smarter to to read your your own uh, unit test code so if you're going for my github the link is below then you can download the source code here or you can type from the screen here you have a, a test library person where we have the test code and then we have the person uh, the class where we will test about uh, is the user is allowed to buy alcohol based on the age here in Denmark? We can buy the not so strong alcoholic drinks from 60 to 80. And are you over 80? You can buy strong alcohol like vodka and something like that. And then we have a class here is allowed to buy tobacco. In Denmark, the politicians uh, love to change the age, love to change the prices and everything. So I think that's a very nice class to test on. I'm not self uh, smoking of course i have drinking wine some sometimes but i'm not going to party every weekend so it's not because i'm a didic so when you have downloaded the code we can start at the beginning here in this video i will speak about setup and tear down classes so you can use your code much smarter in this case, if you want to test the code, here you want uh, to go uh, and say the person is equal to, yeah, my person is equal to, let's say, a person here, and then you have the class, and you need to do something like, if it's written true, and then you allowed to buy a alcoholic, and then you have a birthday, and what we want here, uh, we want to say 7.6, something like that. And if you need it to the other one, we need to do the exactly the same here down. Uh, and we have an age and we want to say uh, 64, something like that. And then it should be okay if we are 18 or more. But what you can do here, if you use the the setup here, setup, you can basically say self uh, person here is equal to the class, and then you have open up for the for this, and you can just sing this one self and everything here it's fine if I run this test it should pass or giving an error on anywhere and of course that's because uh, we don't have any uh, we don't have anything down here but this is uh, what it's uh, speaking about this is the setup so we can set up the something we need to use later in the cases and when we are done we can use the tear down and you can say the and then the person here and you are now sure this is cleaned up and you cannot uh, use it anymore and the idea with this is basically you can make a connection you can make it to the database if you want to test it if you don't want to use uh, mockups and when you are finished you can clean up the code so you don't keep the connections open if you have uh, some like um, if you have a test file you want to create before and then you need to delete the test file. Um, you can do it in the teardown. The setup is running always before your test cases and teardown always run after the test cases. So everything happened before in, in the setup. It's um, uh, what will not happening inside here. So so you have a safe way to, to build your uh, data pretty easy. I hope you understand what I'm meaning. And you're not too confused if you have any questions you can make it in the comment fields below and i hope you want to subscribe my channel to get more videos from me 
and in the next video we will speak more about unit testing uh, so keep up and follow me thank you so much and remember you can always download the code on my github channel the download link will be down in the in the comments uh, sections uh, sorry for the yeah in the description section so you are able to download it thank you so much and hope to to see you next time and hope to subscribe to this channel and like it with your friends and hit the uh, thing below in the right corner to subscribe see you next time